Today marks one year since the Highway 26 washout in George County, Mississippi. One survivor, Layla Jameson, was a senior in high school when her car was swallowed by the gaping hole in the road. The path to healing hasn't been easy and it isn't over. But as she told WKRG News 5 Report for America journalist Corey Johnson, it's a journey she's grateful for. One year ago, Layla Jameson's world changed forever. Hurricane Ida's torrential rainfall gouged a 20 foot deep washout of Highway 26 in George County, Mississippi. On her way home from work, Layla's car plunged into the chasm. Just 17 years old, her future, her life in jeopardy. They did have to put a rod in the bottom half of my back. Um, and then obviously I broke just about every other bone in my body except for my left leg. Layla doesn't recall much else from that night. And I remember like pain and just being taken out of the car, but that's it. And then the next thing I remember was being hauled up the side of the washout and it raining in my face. She'll tell you now that brush with death isn't her story, not a tale of tragedy. That dark night is not what defines her. Instead, she says, it's what happened next. Layla's story is one of faith, hope, heart, and determination. There you go. Nice job. After the wreck, she spent six months recovering in hospitals between Mobile and Atlanta. Most people who have injuries like this, they usually just want to give up. And that's where I was at a lot. And, you know, the therapist there, my mom just really pushed me to keep going. She now uses a wheelchair to get around and can stand and move a short distance only with support. She's focused on changing that. Hopefully, I will be able to walk again. It might not be pretty and it might not be perfect and I might not be able to do it for long periods of time, but that is my end goal. In May, she was even able to take a few steps across the stage at her high school graduation. Layla Marie Jamison, high honors, academic endorsement. A possibility that just months earlier seemed impossible. I still have a purpose and God's not done working on me and I can do whatever I put my mind to. Now, Layla's on to a new chapter in her first semester studying forensic psychology at Ole Miss. She decided to make the move to Oxford only weeks before her first class. At the beginning of August, we started running and getting things done, and it was just such a last minute decision. But I'm here now, and I love it. It's honestly really great. Layla's scars remind her of the deadly night of the storm, but Layla's story remains one of resolve. Not what was, but a new day and what's next. I'm grateful because it could have been so much worse. It could have been, I, I couldn't have made it through. Like I was given a second opportunity at life and I want to use that to, to help others, whatever, with whatever it may be. In George County, I'm Corey Johnson, WKRG News 5.